Go. Okay, good afternoon. Joe Rodriguez, Texas State Technical College. I'm going to be demonstrating uh, how to grind a fly cutting tool uh, for the uh, milling machine, for a milling machine operation. And so the drawing, the specification for the drawing shows the geometry here. So I'm, I've got a 10 degree angle that I'm going to have to grind up in the front or the nose of the tool. Then I got some clearance that I've got to put in the front. The clearance is, or the uh, clearance angle I should say is 10 degrees. So I've got a compound angle going on here. I've got the same situation going on in the front. And it's pretty much a pretty straightforward tool. You can see looking at the top that there's some draft going back and away from the tool bit. So we want the chip to come in here and kind of move away from the top of that surface. So we're going to give that top surface clearance maybe 5 to 10 degrees on the top as well. I think it stipulates 5 degrees right there. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to turn the machine on and I'm going to step away from the machine. I don't want my body to be in front of the machine when I turn it on. I want to be away from the machine, turn it on for a few seconds, and then I can present myself to the machine and proceed with the grinding. Okay, so again, let's take a look at the tool here. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out. I'm going to lay it out from the top so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to just lay about a 15 degree angle on the top here, approximately 15 degrees. So I have a line there and that's going to be my witness line. So you can see there's not a whole lot to grind there, but that's what I'm going to do first. So again, with my finger on the bottom for, to hold elevation, I'm going to just try to get that line to come in nice and straight. And again, you can see I'm not really applying much pressure here. I'm letting the grinding wheel do the work. All I'm doing is maintaining a nice straight line here. And really, that's about the end of the geometry. Now, you'll notice I've got to get this thing cleaned up on the bottom, so I'm going to make sure that I've got one face here on the front of the tool bit. So I'm going to go on and grind a little bit more of this back. Until I get a nice clean surface all the way down. You can see I'm getting close to the bottom now. A little bit more. A little bit more. Almost there. Maybe one more little cut and I'll be done. Okay. Looks like we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. So we've got the front end finished off, about 15 degrees going on the back side, and we're going to do the same thing on the side here. Now if you look at the drawing again, there is no real, we're not, we don't have an angle that's really going to be just like that, like you see it right there. We're not really going to be grinding much off of here. We are going to grind the relief that 10 degrees on the side here which is a very small little angle and so that's what I'm going to be working on next so that's going to require me just simply holding it and going right straight in try to keep it, keeping that tool bit nice and parallel and again it doesn't take very much work to get this accomplished at all Probably pretty close to being done right now. You see I got a little bit more to go there. And that side is almost done. I got a little bit of red as you can see there. If you look really close you can see there's a little bit of red. I'm going to grind that away. And that tool bit is probably complete.
So that's the geometry for the top. Now, or the two sides, I should say. Now we want to get the top done, and let's go back and look at that drawing again. Well, if we look at the drawing, that's pretty much what that tool bit looks like. It's pretty close. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get this top, the top surface, this 10 degree or 5 degrees that I have right there. We're going to grind on that, which is the top surface. And so I'm going to hold this tool bit with this front edge straight up and down. And I'm just going to go straight in with that tool bit. It requires 5 to 10 degrees, and that's all I'm going to give it, 5 to 10 degrees. Let me cool this off. You can see that it's a fast, pretty fast grind. One more shot. And let's see what that looks like. We got a little bit more to grind there. But it's getting very, very close. And so you can see that, oops, I still see a little tiny bit of red there on the end. I want to get that off of there. It's, that surface is complete, that side is complete. I also want you to notice that there are just one single face on each of these sides. We want single faces on there to minimize friction. We don't want friction dragging, uh, creating uh, hotter chips than we're already going to create. So now, what's the last thing we have to do? Well, the drawing looks like it's got a very nice radius on the end. In fact, it's asking for uh, a 1 32nd to an eighth of an inch radius. So the reason that's so uh, varied there is because it depends on what type of work and what kind of materials you're going to be cutting. We're going to be using a fairly liberal radius on here, so we're going to put about an eighth of an inch radius on here. So let's go ahead and try to do that. I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to hold this straight up and down, straight up and down to the wheel, and I'm just going to radius it around. It's a very, very fast grind again. Let's, let's do that. So you can see that I'm just following that line. I want my line to go all the way from the top to the bottom. And I'll explain why that is here in a second. A little bit more. Again, I want that radius from the top all the way down to the bottom. Now if we take a look at this tool bit, you can see I've got a fairly liberal radius there. And you can see the radius is going all the way to the bottom. The reason I want that radius all the way to the bottom is because if I ever dull this cutting edge here, all I simply have to do is touch the top. I don't have to touch this side or that side, and I've got my built-in radius as it's coming down. As I'm grinding down, that tool bit is really finished. So let's take a look at the drawing and compare this part to the drawing again. So now we have our part laying here. That sort of looks like that drawing, doesn't it? We take a look at the side view, and there's your side view. I'm going to show that over to the side so you can kind of see it. We want to take a look at the end, and you can kind of take a look at the end there, compare the tool to the drawing, and you can see that it very closely resembles that drawing. Now let's take a look at the three auxiliary views. Well, there's my top side. Let's take a look at the other end over here. Well, there's my other side, the left side, and then we'll look at the bottom. Turn the bottom around and you can kind of see what that tool bit looks like. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the tool bit follows the drawing and we can produce a part or a tool bit just like the drawing is asking for. Thank you very much. Appreciate your attention.